Hello and welcome everyone to our special mini course on harmony. Today is day one and we are starting at the beginning. The foundation of our journey, whether you're joining us for the first time or you have been on this journey with us, we are excited to delve into the profound aspects of finding harmony in our lives. I'm your host, Bharti, your guide on this exploration of balance, peace, and inner alignment. In this mini course, we will be uncovering the secrets to achieving harmony in various facets of life mind, body, relationships, and beyond. Intense, right? Each day will bring us closer to understanding how to cultivate harmony within ourselves and in our interactions with the world around. Throughout this mini course, my aim is to provide you with practical insights, exercises, and reflections that you can apply immediately to enhance your own sense of harmony. Whether you are seeking peace within yourself or with others, harmony offers a pathway to greater fulfillment and joy. We will be exploring what harmony truly means and how you can manifest it in your daily lives and why it's crucial for our well-being and personal growth. First off, it starts with unfinished business. Unfinished business refers to unresolved emotions, incomplete goals, or lingering issues from the past that continue to affect an individual's present life and potential for growth. It encompasses anything that remains incomplete or unaddressed, holding back personal development and fulfillment. Unfinished business acts as a barrier to realizing one's full, fullest potential. It can manifest as self-limiting beliefs, unresolved conflicts, or unfulfilled aspirations that prevent individuals from moving forward and achieving their goals. Addressing and resolving unfinished business is essential for unlocking untapped potential and experiencing personal growth. Think of unfinished business as an anchor weighing you down, your ship, preventing it from sailing smoothly towards its destination. Just as a cl cluttered room hinders movement and clarity, unresolved issues clutter the mind and obstruct progress. Another analogy could be likening unfinished business to an unfinished puzzle, where the missing pieces prevent the full picture from being revealed. revealed. Understanding and addressing unfinished business is pivotal for personal and professional development. It involves introspection, emotional processing, and taking proactive steps towards closure. By resolving past issues and completing unfinished tasks, individuals can pave the way for growth, fulfillment, and the realization of their true potential. Also, I'm going to step into something very, very intense. Whether you believe it or not, just be with me and listen to me. The impact of unfinished business from past lives can be profound. It may manifest as unexplained fears, recurring patterns of behavior, or a deep sense of longing or unfulfillment that defies rational explanation. These unresolved issues often act as barriers to personal growth and can prevent individuals from fully realizing their potential. Imagine past lives as chapters in a book where each chapter leaves an imprint on the subsequent ones. Unfinished business from past lives is like a thread that weaves through these chapters, influencing the narrative of our current life story. Another analogy could be likening past lives to layers of an onion, where each layer represents a different lifetime. And unresolved issues from these layers affect the core of our being in the present. Well, this is day one. And I'm going to leave you with this thought. That ponder, what is your unfinished business? Look deep within yourself. Today, I'm not going to give you any exercise or any homework. I want you to reflect upon your life and what showed up in your life. 
to date. Thank you for joining me today as we embark on this enriching journey together. Let's get ready to discover new perspectives and tools to create harmony in our life. Well, stay tuned for day two's content that's coming right up. Thank you for taking up this course.